Hello and welcome to Anime Memories. On this episode, I'm going to be talking about Big Wind Up. I've never really been a big fan of baseball because I live in Australia and it's just not that popular over here. But still, this show would have to be in my top five favorite anime of all time. How could this be? How could I love a sports anime so much and yet I don't care at all about the sport that they're basing it on? The reason is the big windup has a lot of great qualities that make it enjoyable even for non-baseball fans. Ren Mahashi is a high school freshman who loves to pitch. He's hesitant to join his high school team though since he had a fairly rough time playing in middle school. Despite his uncertainties, the other members of Nishira's baseball team convince him to join. Even though this is the first year the team has formed and all the players are freshmen, they all make the goal to head for the pinnacle of high school baseball, Koshian. The story here is split into two halves. The first half focuses on the team getting together, learning new skills and practicing for the upcoming tournament. The second half focuses on their first round match in that specific tournament. Yep, you heard me correctly. The entire second half, about 12 episodes worth, focuses on just one match. The pacing was always fairly slow, but in the second arc, it slows down even more. This could be a massive drawback for a lot of people who want to see the story progress a lot quicker so they could see a lot more games, but to me, I loved it. I was on the edge of my seat for the entire game. I couldn't wait to see what play Nishiura would make next. Even though I can look at this objectively and say, yeah, the pacing was pretty slow, but it didn't feel slow at all. These episodes just flew by. Moving on to the characters, and the main character Mihashi starts off as a whiny little pansy. His severe insecurities can cause him to be extremely annoying, especially in the first few episodes. However, with the help of his teammates, he becomes a lot more confident, and slowly but surely his old insecurities begin to disappear. Also, when you learn a bit more about why he's so timid, his behaviour becomes pretty understandable. Abe is another character who develops significantly throughout the show. He starts off as a selfish asshole, but he begins to soften when he forms a bond with Mihashi and the rest of the team. Similar to Mihashi, he also has a very interesting backstory which explains how he became so closed off. If it hasn't become apparent already, I believe that one of this anime's strengths is how well it develops its characters. Not only do the individual characters get their own little bits of development, but the team itself ends up growing into somewhat of a family. It displays how playing in a team and becoming friends with your teammates can help you improve as a person and get over any painful memories that you might be holding on to. Being that a baseball team has at least nine players, a coach, a manager, etc., there are a lot of supporting characters here. While many of them just hang out in the background, some of them are so damn likeable that they steal the spotlight from the leads. Actually, I'm pretty exhausted too. Lately, I can only spank it maybe once a day. <laughs> Coach Momoe would have to be my favourite character. She has a fiery attitude which helps spice up any scene that she's in. I also really admire her dedication. She raises all this money through crappy part-time jobs just so these kids can play baseball. After doing a little bit of analysis of the characters, I realised what Big Wind Up truly is. It's an underdog story. It's about a new team full of first years going up against established teams that have players with much more experience than them. And this means that even people who aren't into baseball can still really enjoy this show because everyone loves an underdog story. You don't need to be a fan of boxing to enjoy the Rocky films and the same thing applies here. Another quality which helps widen this show's appeal is that it doesn't really require any knowledge of baseball. Even if you're completely unfamiliar with the sport, you can always follow everything that's going on and when they do need to sit down and explain something, it's always very easy to understand. When talking about the visuals, the art style is good, but nothing really to write home about. However, the animation is fantastic. The characters' movements look really natural and it made me feel like I was watching an actual game of baseball. The dub is also fantastic, the voice actors do a great job and I think there's a lot of funny lines in there that weren't in the Japanese version. Don't get me wrong, I think you're a bit of a douche. Oh. My gosh, my. Your mother is here for you, face! Even if you only watch anime with subtitles, 
I would highly recommend giving this dub a try. It's that damn good. One more thing that made me love this show is that they discuss the importance of mental strategies such as goal setting and visualization. Most sports anime that I've watched focus mainly on the skill set of their chosen sport or the physical aspects of it, so it was really cool to see some focus being given to the importance of mental strength as well. The last thing I'm going to talk about is the ending and the story doesn't quite end here. The manga is still ongoing today, so when adapting this into an anime, they had two options. The first option, write a new, original ending for the anime. The second option, give us a read the manga slash wait for season 2 ending. They chose to do the latter, and while I usually hate these types of endings since I usually find them unfulfilling, I was fine with it here. I felt completely satisfied with the way things ended, and even if there's no more big wind-up for me to watch, I'm okay with that. And for many people this is going to be the case since Funimation decided not to license Season 2, which is a real pity. You can still watch it, however you're going to have to go through shady means in order to do so. If you're a fan of sports anime then I highly recommend Big Wind Up, and if you're one of those people that are like, no, I'll skip over this, I'm not really a big fan of baseball, give it a try anyway, you might still find it very enjoyable. So anyway, thank you very much to everybody who watched this video. If you have any feedback, feel free to leave a comment. If you like this video and want to see more, feel free to subscribe as well. Thanks again, and I'll see you next time.